Jake, um, David Davis has got 50 MPs to sign a letter to say, if you've come from the safe country, you know, a country that is a NATO member and a EU applicant, uh, that actually the modern slavery law should be amended and people, and people could be sent straight back. Um, is David Davis and, and his 50 colleagues, are they on the right track with this? Yeah, I think they are. I mean, we should be really proud in this country of the modern day slavery act. It's something that Parliament did. We were a global leader in this field. But where we get things wrong or laws are open to abuse, mm. we should never shy away from changing them. Uh, David is right. He's picked up on this point that I think you've picked up previously, that people who come here and claim to be victims of modern slavery often don't say that. So they've had two or three hours sat with one of these highly paid lawyers that the taxpayers yeah. is paying for them to see the system is being abused, and I think the government should look at changing it. Yeah, quickly, I suggest, because the country is getting pretty upset. Yeah, but we can't throw the baby out of the bathwater, because this, this is a good piece of legislation that is being abused by people who want to use it to remain in the UK. We should, we should change it rather than scrap it. Jake, energy, 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 our problems with energy, wind energy. It was during Cameron's time that considerable political pressure against onshore wind farms was applied. I was part of that in 2013 and well, 20... Blame, well, of course, I mean, of course, obviously. <laughs> you're to blame um, for everything, aren't you? Well, you know, they're ugly, they don't really work very well, uh, they involve massive subsidies, but you're very much in well, favour. Yeah, I mean, Boris used to call them the white satanic mills, which I think, uh, yeah. you know, in the north of yeah. England is something yeah. we can yeah. understand. Look, no country is sovereign without having its own sovereign energy supply. And at the moment, more. we are... You know, being held to ransom by a hostile foreign power, which is the reason when your bill drops through your letterbox or arrives in your inbox, you get that bill shock of that huge bill. So the government has to have a plan to become self-sufficient for energy. And I think that wind turbines, and by the way, fracking as well, which uh, I proudly okay, voted I was gonna, well, for I was to with that. Liz Truss, yeah. Are part of that mix. The wind doesn't always blow. The well, sun doesn't always shine. This is the problem. But they should be part of the mix. And we have a de facto ban. So yep. what I'm calling, Simon Clark's calling for, and I've been supporting him, is let's reverse that de facto ban with a referendum lock for local communities, a legally binding referendum that gives them a stake. Maybe they get paid for having them nearby, that gives them a stake well, actually, so they can be part of our energy Well, rates. actually, they're paying already. Here's the point. You know, I've, I've got the updated... Well, everyone's paying, but not everyone's looking at them. Well, now, well no, true, but I'm just having a look at this. I mean, this is the OBR updated figures mm. from the autumn statement from Jeremy Hunt. And since 2012... Our renewable subsidies have been £78 billion. And between now and 28, there'll be a further £56 billion. Now, I could live with wind energy, but not with the poor having these, these subsidies yeah, added onto their bills. It's wrong. It may be an opportunity to revisit that as well. But I don't think we should be turning our back on any form of energy when what our country desperately needs, and I know you agree with this because we've discussed it before, yep. is to be self-sufficient. So yeah, we should absolutely. be pursuing nuclear gas, including non-conventional gas fracking, as everyone calls it, wind turbines, solar farms, whatever we need to do, whatever it takes, we cannot let okay. our country be held to ransom no, by hostile I, powers. Jay, you and I agree on that. I just All I'm saying to you is that, that, that onshore and offshore wind is very expensive. Yeah. Uh, it is the poorer people, pro rata, that are paying for this because energy is a much bigger percentage of their overall outgoings. But, and that for the next three days this week, there'll be no wind. Yeah, but well, as we think we're about to come on to, but poorer people are also paying for new nuclear. I mean, it's just part of our energy mix. The great mistake I think we've made is to move away from more traditional powers of energy generation, like nuclear, like gas, historically coal fire power stations, and have this sort of reliance only on renewables. Well, we, we need it all.